Hi everyone, welcome to the Friday's watercolor session and today I'm going to do some watercolor and doodling which I feel like I haven't done in forever so yeah I really missed that sort of simple aspect of it and it's going to be florals so for those of you who really like my floral uh, illustrations I think you'll be happy because again that didn't happen for a while as well mind you I'm messing up my nails as we speak I just painted them so today I'm going to use my Jackson's Quill Brush, the Tan Zero um, portable painter with uh, the 12 watercolors that I have selected and they're going to be in the list below. And also of course I'm going to use my um, Platinum Carbon Ink Fountain Pen and uh, the ink inside is also from um, Platinum Carbon Ink in case you wonder and it's a waterproof um, ink so it's great to work with watercolors you can apply it under and you can work over it as well so today I feel like um, creating watercolor blobs um, and sort of in a in an abstract maybe manner and then later creating doodles and making a floral kind of uh, composition so I really uh, haven't thought much of what kind of colors I want to use to dye and I probably will go with the safe colors being the yellows I just need to clean up my yellow it's got a bit of blue in there so it's creating more of a green actually it's a nice color okay I'm gonna go with that so I'm just going to create these kind of whimsical interesting looking shapes and just using various watercolor techniques I will try to make it a little bit more interesting so let's see then we've got here some lemon yellow and I'm going to mix that in with some pink and create some florals over here and maybe um, let's see maybe a bit of red into this to create a nice fiery orange and that flower could be quite dominating. I'm not thinking of any particular flowers at the minute. I'm just creating some shapes. And sort of thinking of a balanced um, bouquet shape, but again, not really focusing on that too much um i kind of feel like creating sort of like blueberries or something something blue you know there are these lovely bluebells so maybe actually i'll go with that kind of type of a color it works really well with the oranges doesn't it so I'm thinking I'm going to put a third one here so I've got three here one there and just for measures I need to add another one somewhere around here this is a very pretty color I like it a lot um, and at the moment it's a little bit square ish composition and I wonder whether I need to round anything up and maybe create something else there or here um, I kind of like the way it looks right now but maybe just offset it and just add something a little bit more yellow around here like so 
just to bounce back to this similar color right here okay now I'm going to take some water and just let these flowers flow out a little bit like so and I will do uh, the yellow seems all right I don't want it to be too big to be honest so I think I'll leave it at that and next we will do some doodling okay so I used my um, heat gun and the flowers are nice and dry you can see these nice little um, speckles of lighter color in fact when um, there are sometimes little puddles created because of too much water um, and when I'm drying the watercolor I then just dab off the excess and that creates a nice little um, kind of texture as well so I do like doing that sometimes um, just for variety okay so um, I think I will begin by creating kind of whimsical centers like so and with this pen you can get super super fine lines and that's why it's my favorite um, if you literally hardly touch the paper that's when you get the, the very finest of the lines so I'm kind of concentrating on making the center piece the longest and then shorter ones around it so it's fairly simple uh, and it's as always super therapeutic so these will be like that I don't want them to look all the same so I'll try to do something slightly different so maybe these will have just a couple like that and quite long as well and then the yellows, maybe we'll just kind of give them some dots, like so. And maybe some on top here as well, because... It could be that the petals are overlapping, so we don't really know. This is a similar flower to the ones I just worked on, so I'm going to create the same thing here as well. And let's see, so there is this big one, which I don't know how to approach yet. And But what I do know is that I always like to create these straight but kind of whimsical looking um, stalks so there we go So sometimes when they're overlapping, um, I would basically just kind of do, um, it will be just a very kind of close together alignment of the lines, which sort of looks quite nice if you look at it from this angle. It becomes like a pattern. And I really like that. So now I'm going to move on to creating little triangles to make it look a little bit more finished. And like these stalks, I attach to the little blooms and blossoms. Um, see this one is there. So sometimes it can be quite, uh, can get a little bit confusing which line belongs to which flower but you sort of just kind of try and eye it a little bit 
So there we go, I'll leave it at that. And then there's a couple more just over here. And then there's this big one. Okay, so that's done. And really you could leave it at that. Um, but there is something that I want to add to this bigger flower. Okay, so I think I will try to make it look like there is this opening here. So there's a petal that's curling towards us in a way and then we can see the center of the flower if that makes sense. And then I'm going to give these kind of um, a little bit more curled looking elements and I think I want to elongate these towards here as well and do a similar thing like so just like a half circle and then just make them come in together like so and I actually quite like that but I feel like I want to add just a couple more here and there. The trick here is just to find complementing colours that would work really well together and would set each other off slightly. So that is the trick. And with doodling just don't do too much and let the watercolour still be the foreground of it and the ink just a supportive role. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a lovely weekend and see you soon.